Hold on, How's it going, people of YouTube? It is the 51st Batman here. The new and improved 51st Batman because I have taken down all of my old videos because they were all really, really cringy, and now I am going to start a new And I just want to start off this new age with an old story from, well, it's actually not too long ago, but joining me in telling this story is one of my friends, Jaden Barker, better known as Hyena Waffles. Yes, and, and today I'll be, yeah, I'll be co-op with Dennis, and uh, Dennis, if you would kindly put a link to both my channels in the description, I'll do the same for yours, and people can click on the links to each other's channels, and you know, I will uh, definitely do that. No, so I guess I guess I'll start talk telling the story. Well, it it was a bright sunny Monday morning, and we were we were off of school for the day, and we decided me, Jaden, and one other friend, we decided, well, what better way to spend this Monday morning and afternoon? tend to spend the day together and so the plan was to go fishing and go to sonic and it's pretty hard to cross but the first time across i got across it and i crossed it uh, several more times uh then after that uh on my way back across the branch i was making the jump across it when i slipped and i fell in the pond <laughs> So, yeah. Okay, and then, so, you know, we're all going fishing. We're having practically the time of our life right now. Keep this in mind. Our friend knows more about fishing than the two of us combined. He catches two fish during this entire trip. I get a bunch of bites. Jaden gets almost nothing. Yeah, tell them what he did with the two fish. So, okay, so once we catch the two fish, we basically take them to me and my other friend's secret hideout. Yes, that's right. I have a secret hideout. You will tell no one. And, um... Except that you tell everyone, so... Yeah, it's not so secret anymore. But it was secret back then. And... And so what we did is we relocated the fish to there because it was like less than half a mile away from where we were fishing. And so that's what we did. And once that was done, I'm like, why don't we go to Sonic? But I had to be home. So we're home. And this is where things start to get rather interesting because we're hanging out in my garage and they're like, okay, so you can't go to Sonic, but we want to go to Sonic. What should we do? And so they me, get the idea. Let me tell this about Dennis, because I know the backstory to this. <laughs> what actually happened at Sonic. <laughs> so what Sorry. happened was, we're just going to get Dennis a regular drink, right? So we're like, uh, our, our other friend comes up with this great idea to put... Uh, you put a disgusting mix of different uh, beverages instead of a regular freaking beverage. Beverage. So they mixed several drinks. Several drinks. I can't remember what it was. It was like Coke, high C, lemonade. They put a couple of uh, maple syrup packets in there, and uh, we we rode back and. and we tricked Dennis into drinking it, and he did not notice anything. He's just like, mm, what is this? It tastes good. You know, looking back, I probably wouldn't have drink I probably wouldn't have drunk in it had I known there was maple syrup in it. But um so yeah, that was that. And I was pretty angry. Oh, nice. and then they had also they had failed to record this, but before they had left for Sonic, they had come up with the idea of an awesome prank to do at Sonic. And basically, it was based off something Jaden had done just earlier. And um, Jaden was 
acting like he was there was something wrong with his phone and he yelled i hate my phone and slammed the case down onto the ground like it was his actual phone and so we got the brilliant idea to do that at sonic and as far as i remember i think they actually did it but they failed to get it on video like i had requested Our friend had the camera and he's not a very good cameraman at all. So basically, Dennis actually thought of a toad, icy, uh, lemonade, maple syrup, what, whatever the heck was in that drink, what, whatever that was. He thought he thought it was actually taste good. He thought it actually tastes good. That was yeah. like the main premise, and I guess that's like. I guess for those of you who are into this, like a look into my personality, I guess, because like I will eat like I will eat and drink almost anything. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. Like Tyler. Like what? Like Tyler. Yeah. Just so backstory here, guys. There's this kid uh, in a camping organization. Uh, all he eats is basically peanut butter jelly sandwiches and uh, tortillas. That's that's his main diet. diet that he, he won't eat anything else we make. Oh, and oatmeal. That's the other thing. So, he eats peanut butter pretzels at lunch. Yeah, <laughs> but did you you don't you already told told them about the part with uh the how. On how Kelton had the fish on a steak and uh, tied to a steak, and he. Oh yeah, that was that was kind of intense because he initially wanted me to be the one to carry it on the way there, and I'm like, no, dude, I'm super slow on the bike, and if I don't get there in time, those bass are gonna die, and so he ends up being the one to carry it. We have him leading, and he's going as fast as he can, and I'm just sitting there like. <gasps> During these fish tied to a wooden uh, stake, like a wooden uh, board, and he has them tied to it, and he's biking across across a busy state highway while tur- while turning these fish on his bike, and there's. Dozens of people passing by and wondering what the heck is going on because there's this kid that has two fish tied to a stake and he's riding his bike with them. And then he has two people following him, one of which looking like he's about to die. That person yeah, dying that, is me, by that, the way. That, that's definitely not what you would call a good first impression. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it, isn't it? That's pretty much it. I mean, except for the fact that we started rolling down my driveway in office chairs. That was kind of fun. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> basically what happened, uh, guys, and guys who are watching, thank you for that. What happened is I found this rolling chair, and Dennis just happens to have a really steep driveway. So I'm like, this is a this this might be interesting. So I took the office office chair and I rolled down the driveway. It was pretty fun. But my first try, I crashed <laughs> because I wasn't getting enough speed to get up the first bump. But Dennis, you tell them about how you, about your mom. Oh, so okay. So to to elaborate on Jaden's part, yeah. My driveway was pretty steep. Yeah, we had these office chairs. But after we start but after he started doing that, we're like, hey, this is pretty fun. And so we start doing all these different kinds of forms on it. Like we would like lay down on our stomachs and do it. We would like kneel. It was super fun. And then my mom got really mad at us. I bet that was it wasn't fun for me, but it wasn't like it wasn't like they were having the most fun time ever because either because they had to stop. 
answer? Did you seriously? They, they were having the most fun time ever, either. Ever, ever. He said ever, guys. That's Congratulations. That's you have now learned answer. about my inability to talk. So, that's basically the gist of it, right? I mean, pretty much. That's basically what happened. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, ended up, uh, I ended up getting in big trouble for the office chair thing and for other things as well that I'd rather not talk about, but that's irrelevant. Oh, you mean, oh yeah, I took his hat and I threw it down the tornado shelter. Yep. And uh, for yeah, those who don't know, and I'm pretty sure most, if not all of you don't know, but... I had a very, how do I put this? Um, what's the word? Well, let's just say that she overreacted to a lot of things. And getting in the tornado shelter when we were not supposed to was one of them. And I opened the tornado shelter. So was that. Sure then. Yep. And guess who was the one who had to retrieve it? And guess who was the one who took the blame for it? And I'm very proud of throwing his hat into the shelter and getting the truck. Yeah. Very proud. So. <laughs> That's pretty much our story. To my subscribers and viewers, thanks for viewing. Subscribe, like, comment, and. Do all that jazz. That what people doing on Genesis video too. Oh, and as always, go shoot yourself. Go shoot your face in the face. Yeah, and don't don't while you're at it. Don't while you're at it. Don't forget to subscribe to not only Jaden's personal channel, but his hyena waffles channel as well, where he goes into various discussions about science, science. ski and key. <laughs> so yeah, definitely check that out um i want you all to have the very best day like there was no other better day and goodbye Same.